We're now going to take a look at the control structure of sequence. As a part of our look at structured algorithms, we will look at sequence in both pseudocode and flowchart format. Now, the control structure of sequence is used to represent the order of steps in which an algorithm is to be executed. In pseudocode, the steps are placed between begin and end, which are accompanied by the name of the program or subprogram. Sequence reflects the logical order of steps that need to take place in order for a system to run correctly. So, let's look at an example first in pseudocode. This is going to be a basic calculator, and basically the following sample of pseudocode represents a program that allows the user to enter in two different numbers. The software is to add these numbers together and display the result. So, first thing we have is the begin keyword, followed by the name of the program. Then we have the sequence of steps, so get number one, get number two. Total equals number one plus number two, display total. And then we close off this program with end and the name of the program once again, basic calculator. So I hope that gives you a bit of an outline of sequence in the use of pseudocode. Next, we'll look at the same scenario once again, but this time as in a flow chart. So we start off with a terminator saying begin. From here, we get number one and get number two again using our input output symbol, which is a parallelogram. We then apply our process of adding number one to number two. And then once again, using the input output parallelogram, display the result to the user. And then that is the end of our program. So I hope this has given you an understanding of basically what sequence is as a control structure and how it is displayed in both pseudocode and flowchart formats. Essentially that it is the logical organization of the steps within a program and that they make sense in order to execute their function and display the designated output that a user is wanting to see.